one night at midnight, one girl chose to play a horrible, scary game. It was the letter. Hi everyone, and welcome to the letter. As I said, a horribly scary game. Hopefully not. It's supposed to be more a visual novel. It's just out, or maybe even a day before or such. I've been uh, been kickstarted there, and I've been waiting for it for about two years soon. I feel like, yeah, I think it is something like that. So yeah, been a long waiting, and hopefully now I'll do it, and hopefully I'll play through it because. Well, you wouldn't know with horror games, but I've tried to record some and then never happen. Like, ooh, they disappeared somewhere in the ether because, yeah, they went too short because I freaked. Ah! 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 Oh my god! Why? I just started it! Why? Damn my great mansion! It was supposed to be a visual novel! What do I do? Oh what do I do? Come down, it's only a game. A game can't hurt me and what the... The Emma Green Mansion, right? It was spilt for Lord William and Lady Elizabeth Emigrate of Luxembourg, humble ambassador of peace and beloved by their people. <sighs> Both were well known for their compassion and generosity, <laughs> never failing to extend a helping hand to anyone in it. I'm sorry, I'm still a little freaked out after that. Why would he have that in the bedroom? <laughs> the rest of the music and it was so calm and it seemed like, oh, it's pretty. It's probably not going to be that bad. And the, yeah, not helping anyone in need. They helped someone they shouldn't have helped, probably, then, under their influence and wealth. What was once a small, sleepy village grew to a prosperous and bustling town. Skip, backlog, save, load, your no relationship. Eh, yeah, we... Are we Isabel now? I think that's so, because they changed the character between chapters. Something like that, like, all those characters, they all have, and it's supposed to have different, many splitting endings and all that. Why am I? I should have explained that in the menu, or directly after that, if I hadn't been freaked out. I just need to talk about something, okay? <laughs> need to call. However, the seasons of joy eventually ended when the good noble perished and Han, at the hands of a great plague, <gasps> the rich and the riches and legacy were henceforth passed on to their only child, Lady Charlotte Ermengard. Ermengard? Ermengard. What's that? that? The mansion had stood since the 1620s a witness to a very long history of joy and pain. After Lady Charlotte committed suicide, the great house was eventually left uninhabited. Ooh, except by her ghost that we saw there. And that's when it began. <laughs> it's only lightning! Surrounding villagers spoke of seeing and hearing unearthly thing of cries and howls that filled the night and hearsay of a mysterious woman rooming the hallowed halls aimlessly. People who dared enter its walls were simply never heard from again. Even after 400 years, these stories remain much like the house itself. Whispers about a once great house, its legend, its curse, still fall upon the villagers' ears. In spite of this, the current owners are convinced that these stories are nothing more than hoax. With little regard for the truth, they had Briar Real, Real, Real Realty, Realty Corporation placed their property bank back on sale. Like Pandora's box, the secret that lies inside a way to be discovered by a brave soul. Oh, so... Okay, guys, we're not gonna discover the secret, so maybe you will on your own play forever, but I won't in this because I'm not a brave soul. No matter what happens, take care not to be consumed by the curse. <sighs> you there, right, Harry? <laughs> good luck. Oh, my good luck! <laughs> Isabella. Ah, oh, this is nice. <sighs> Hello? Oh, so Isabella, are you there? Where are you? Yeah, I'm here. Can I? 
A familiar, jittery voice came from the other end. Oh, hey Rose, I'm at St. Goretti High. What's the matter? She can't hear you, the microphone as you see it is cut off. What do you mean, what's the matter? How did she hear? You're a ghost also, right? Silly, I'm here and you're late. Uh, oh. Jeez, we're on shift together, you promised. Oh my god, please don't tell me you forgot. You were planning on leaving me to check this place out on my own, weren't you? I prefer that we can just have a school simulator or something. I, 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 I'm very close you know to. I take my promises seriously. I'd like to believe that. So hurry up and get here. This place is huge. A bit too quiet since no one's lived here since like forever, but beautiful nonetheless. Yeah. Why are you so surprised? This isn't the first time you've been there. I know. I just wish I could live in a place like this. It really takes my breath away. Well, you probably could with the price that's gonna end up on that house because yeah. What's this journal? Undiscovered journal in. Oh. Okay. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Not after the rumors that say it's haunted. Jeez, never mind those rumors. <laughs> ghosts aren't real after all. Yeah, ghosts aren't real. <sighs> that's why I belong here in the real world. <sighs> Because that's a fantasy world. In Ghost of Fantasy, so Yeah, they belong there. They and that's are, where they are. They are not. They can't do anything. Except murder you horribly. They're nothing but spirits. You don't know that. They might be listening or watching right now. <gasps> they might not be happy with you enough to curse you. No offense, sweetie, but that's a bit of a stretch. Uh believe it or not, it's better to be careful. Yeah. Right. You know, not every property we sell will end up with a dead body stuffed in a sofa. No, this one would be in the middle of the corridor, probably. And I think that mansion is where we'll likely find another one. I can feel it. <laughs> that was one time, Isabella. Loosen up. Wait, just get here ASAP, please. I'm getting bored being here on my own. Fine, fine. Let me just finish up here. I'll be right there soon. Yeah. Okay, I don't want. You. Can we stay here? Shanks up before I can respond. Rose, still charming as ever. Who is that? Uh, who are you? Oh, I look up from my phone to see Rebecca. Becca, Becky, giving me a questioning look. Oh, that? It's just Rose. Yeah. Rose? The one you said who trained you for your job back when you started? Yeah, I guess so. You're working together again? Just for this property. We've been scoping out that big mansion down Anselm Village after the renovations. Ooh. Today is sort of its grand opening to the public. The RC wants to give it one last check before we let potential buyers tour it this afternoon. Okay. Yeah, that's... Wait. So there has been renovation, and nothing bad have happened. I mean, that's fine then. Nothing bad will happen. Oh, wait, mansion? That big spooky one you've been telling everyone about? Didn't yeah. you keep saying how it just gave you the creeps? You actually went there, and you're going back? <laughs> well, I did promise Rose I wouldn't ditch her. And besides, a job is a job. Gotta do what you gotta do to make a living. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as those words have left my mouth, Becky let out a soft chuckle. What's so funny? Nothing. It's just that I didn't expect you to say that. Coming from you, it sounds so out of character. So I guess she isn't really the worky type I mean, then. No offense, but you've been freaking out about the place being creepy ever since you got assigned to it. Cursed rumors and all. Yeah. I honestly thought you'd back out. Nah. Not all the time. We're not I back can in. really use a huge amount of cash right now, and this is just the fastest way to get it. That's how I feel about this series. I'm not all the time backing out of our game. I could really use a huge amount of cash now, cash now, and the quickest way I can do it is being super famous because of horror. No. <sighs> Plus, listen to this. Briar Realty wants it sold as soon as possible, and the agent who lands the deal is going to get a huge bonus. Yeah, a huge bonus. You never give bonuses like that. <laughs> Getting that would make life so much easier. I guess so. They're desperate. I'm desperate. It's perfect. Yeah, perfect. A, sim a sympathetic look crosses a face. You no, know, if you're really in urgent need of money, you could have just asked me. Huh? Or Ashton. Ashton? We can always let you borrow, and you can pay us back whenever. I have to keep myself from groaning out loud. In the years, I know I cannot already tell what to expect once she has that expression. Becca, I've noticed that you've been living off instant noodles these past few weeks. Oh. She crosses her arms and grimaces at the thought. Her voice slightly rises as she begins to scold me. 
Instantly I remember why Becky is excellent at her job teaching boisterous teenagers. Stop eating junk! They're cheap, but they're not good for you. Yeah, I know. I know, I really need some. I add meat to them, is that okay? Becky? 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 Hmm? You'll definitely end up in the hospital if you keep at it. Um, you're not my mom. <laughs> uh, I eat other things too. I am I? Am I? Hey, I eat other things too. I fold my arms across my chest, mimicking her posture and giving her the best frown I can muster. The same one I use with my younger younger siblings when they are being difficult. What? Rebecca. Oh, it's better now. I choose correctly. I. We want the relationship high, right? So they come and save us when we are like hanging off the cliff edge. Instead, she only raises an eyebrow at me. That's not going to work on me. And I saw it when you were cleaning your flat last week. <laughs> the instant noodle cups outnumber everything else. Outnumber doesn't mean I don't eat anything you're else. You're just exaggerating. Did you even see what's in my cupboard yet? I'm not just living on instant noodles alone. I've got canned beans, peas, tuna, ham, and even hamburgers in there. <laughs> Becca is wrinkling her nose by the time I got to the end of the small list. I think she even went a little green on the last one. Oh, you don't like hamburgers, okay. I would have laughed a little at that if I didn't know it would only lead to more repairments from her. Are those the same ones you won from the grocer's raffle more than a year ago? Oh. That's why. Oh, I sincerely yeah. hope you're checking the date stamps on those things before eating them. I don't want a repeat of last year. In any case, those are still not exactly healthier choices, Belle. I mean, peas, maybe. I don't eat peas. The only vegetable I can really master myself with eating is spinach. Oh no. That's why I have so big arm. <laughs> Doesn't work, apparently. She shakes her head, possibly laughing at some funny distant memory. When she looks up, I immediately brace myself. More words from her. Sometimes it's just better to let Becca talk until she's out of things to say. But when she turns her attention back to me, there's only a warmth, warmth in her smile. <sighs> what am I going to do with you? Love me. Care for me. Bring food to me every day. Then I ate that instead, you know? I don't know. She says this more to herself than me, her voice shifting to something kinder, even motherly. Oh, if I'm looking for an exact I word. I hope you know that it's impossible not to worry about you when you're like this. You don't have to keep eating the same thing. I already told you before. You're always free to reheat food in my fridge. Ooh. Thanks, Becca. I really appreciate it, but you don't need to keep babying me. Oh, why not? You've it's been not... taking care of me since after I moved here. You have to take a break sometime. And before you ask again, no. You know I'm not a fan of borrowing money. And I'm not going to ask you to give me what you earned hard for yourself. Makes sense. Uh, you and your pride. But suit yourself. Yeah. The offer stays on the table, though. I nod in response, if only to get her to drop the topic. But I'm pretty certain I'll never take that offer. Ever. Except to take the money and leave this town forever so I get away from that haunted house. No? Maybe? It has nothing to do with pride. It's simply seeing plenty of time how friendship can take a turn for the worst, just because of a few unpaid debts. I don't want something like that to happen between me and Becca. I love Becca. We may argue about a lot of small, pretty things, but she already feels like a real sister to me. I don't want to lose that friendship over something so trivial as money. Becca, taking a quick glance at something behind me. There isn't anything there, right? <laughs> Probably the clock hanging above the notice board. Oh, okay. Snaps me out of my thoughts. Oh, enough chit chat. Lunch is ending, and my students will be back any minute. Shutting. We can catch up later. Okay. Good luck with your clients. You better treat us to lunch or something if you get that sale. You bet. With a small smile, she returns to her desk and begins shifting through the pages or of a rather thick history textbook. She's probably working out her lesson plan for next week. Or trying at least. Her eyes are distant and she doesn't seem too attentive to whatever is on the page. As if she heard my thoughts, Becca starts coughing heavily, 
Her hand testily goes to her mouth to stiff the sound. Ah, uh, this is precisely why I follow her here in the first place. For someone who makes a habit out of worrying for other people, Becca sure forgets how to take care of herself. Hey, you sure you can manage on your own? I mean, you're still a bit feverish. Oh. Ah, oh, hush, dear. Don't you worry about me. I'll just drink some medicine and I'll be right as rain. You sure about that? I level her with a flat look. She has a cold for a couple of days now. Something about the strange weather not agreeing with her lately. And despite my advice to take the week off and rest, I found her apartment empty when I dropped by this morning. She even left the medicine her doctor prescribed to her. Look who's being stubborn now. You shouldn't even be working right now. <laughs> Seriously, you big baby. I'll be fine. <laughs> for now, just go to work and stop making that rose girl wait for you. Yeah. I'll call you if I still feel bad. And you can come pick me up if it makes you feel any better. She offers me a reassuring smile and I can only sigh. <sighs> Why do I even bother? There's no stopping her once she has decided on something. Oh, defeated, I reach inside my bag to pull out the same bottle of medicine she left earlier. She looks at it warily when I place it in front of her. Unfortunately for her, this is one thing I am not letting her have her way. Alright, but don't forget what the doctor said. Drink this on time. I'll see you later, okay? Okay. There's an amused gleam in her eyes when she shifts her gaze back to me. Look who's playing the mother hen now. Rebecca. <laughs> okay, okay. I won't tease anymore. Yeah. I'll make sure to drink it, Mom. <laughs> Before I can retort, she casts another look at the clock. I think that as a sign to finally end the conversation and my short visit. With a wave of goodbye, I leave her alone to her classroom and her thoughts. Goodbye.